Okay, here is a theoretical situation. Right, if a man with a gun, okay, you're walking on the street, and a man with a gun points the gun to your head and uh, tells you to go into a store and steal him, uh, steal for him three tangerines. Now, 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 without math, you would not know how many tangerines you need. And you would die. and helpful, but we're not saying that that you should abandon math altogether. We're just saying that it's overrated. And also, the situation you just provided for us, um, you specifically noted the use of language, and you said three, the English language. So perhaps what if the gunman didn't speak English, or what if you didn't speak English? Then the math alone wouldn't help. I mean, would he have to write out Three and then draw a picture of a tangerine. Yes. <laughs> Three is a uh, universal yeah, number. Really, really hypothetical situation. So hypothetical, I think. Are you saying people in other countries don't know what three is? <laughs> no, the word three. They don't know what the word three means. They don't. Do they not have a word that a sign? Oh, are you talking about the? Si that is why it's an international language because there are. Uh, okay, honey, you're so. <laughs> when Dan gives an example and says it in words, that does the actual government have to write a three as a universal number? Because you can't say it when the person might not understand the same language. For making language a bit more useful than math is. Another one for your math people, it says, is math overrated? Why? We say it is. Math isn't overrated. It's not, you can't use anything by its, pretty much anything by itself. You always need something else to communicate. Just because you can't use it by yourself doesn't mean that it's not overrated or it is overrated. It's, it's not overrated because it's essential. It's essential for almost everything that we do. It's essential for building any, any house. It's, the, it's essential it's for any clothing. It's essential for any building anything or In your producing anything. Opinions. It's do you believe opinion, that math not. is the only essential thing when we build a building or do anything in this world? Well, <laughs> when we wear we have a question, we have a question, we have a question. Are the mathematicians the one who designed the clothes? Are they the one who... Uh, no, but without the mathematics, you wouldn't know what fucking car, uh, size of footwear to buy. <laughs> what size feet do you have? Give me the number, baby. <laughs> I'll give you the number. I, I'd just like to uh, ask I'm for. Uh, like so I'd to come back to you, which I thought was quite interesting. The, uh, the team here on the right made a, what I consider was quite a relevant comment that, uh, that um, you can't actually express very much uh, in maths without language. Uh, I didn't think this was very, very treated in much depth by Matt Levin. I wonder if Matt Levin could, could explain a little more exactly what you feel you could communicate without language. I'm sorry, I, I don't really understand your question. Could you? And please don't use some hypothetical situations. Could you rephrase that, please, Jim? Uh, I don't know. Okay, they put in their math language now. You cannot communicate with maths. You cannot. This was, this was that, that point, you cannot communicate with maths. Uh, I'd like to ask you just what you think you can communicate with maths. Okay. First of all, we agree that you need language to be able to communicate maths. But that doesn't, but that doesn't make maths overrated. You also need maths in order to be able to communicate to, to people through your phone, which is a common example which we have used, you use maths for that, to be able to express yourself to a broader amount of people. Uh, and also, yeah, yeah, Morse codes, for example, is the use of math as a means of communication. Thank you, Tom. I mean, Jim. Can you, can you explain Morse code? Can you explain Morse code? It's actually the use of language for communication. Morse code is just language. It's just yeah, it's coded. Yeah. Morse code represents letters. Letters which are specific to the country. I don't know. I, I, know. I, know. I know. I know. I know. But it's the number. It's the number of short 
and long uh, dots or whatnot. And I have another term in the letter that you are going to use. Are there any occupations? Are there any occupations that don't require advanced math skills? Advanced math skills. Are there any occupations that don't require advanced math skills? Yes, but that, that, is not, that does not mean that math is not an important part of this society. Why is a mathematician more appreciated in this world than a social worker who takes care of children? Why? Uh, because unfortunately we're running out of time. Most people in here are hungry. No, you may not ask, uh, ask questions. Okay. okay, so we'll take a few questions. Mm. But uh, the jury will... Um, well, we don't need to uh, hear... I don't think we need to uh, have any separate closing arguments because I think we pretty much uh, a exhausted this. Yes, we know. We said we'll take questions. Uh, but, yes. The jury will now retreat to... Uh, to the jury will now deliberate and will allow some questions. If a complete society, a community is able to survive and develop without math, don't you think it is overrated? Uh, has our uh, society... Really yes. Has our society developed Not without our, but there is a... At which, the which? piranhas in the Ama Amazon. Which one? The piranhas. The piranhas? The piranhas. I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't know about this. <laughs> it is a tribe in the Amazon that has survived uh, very well with that. Uh, just because the other, the other team doesn't know about the example doesn't make it irrelevant. Okay, I'm not saying it's irrelevant, I just don't know who, who they are. So you're not going to answer the question? Well, okay, I'm going to answer this question. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. They, 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 they. Give it to Amy! Yeah, give it to Amy! Give it to Amy. Okay. And first of all, and I don't think you can really say that they really don't use math. They, you don't have to necessarily use numbers to use math. You can still kind of um, use with eyesight to kind of calculate how much it, everybody eats. And that's, that's I technically using math. You're seeing, looking at amounts and you're kind of waiting to see who eats. And if a bigger person eats a bigger piece of meat, that's still math. Yeah, that's yeah, so proportions, man. Nothing. Yes, for 